Club Soda in Terre Haute had plans to open the doors of a new location, but at last night's city council meeting, those proposals were shot down. And now Club Soda has to come up with a new idea. But the director says they aren't giving up. News 10 Sarah Schaefer has the story. At Thursday night's city council meeting, a group of concerned neighbors wanted their voices heard. Club Soda, a safe haven for struggling or recovering addicts, was trying to move to their area on South 8th Street, and many folks were not in favor of the move. We were duped on this. We didn't, we didn't even know what it was about until last night. The group said they support what Club Soda does, but they don't think a residential area is the best location for them. We chose to live in the city and we chose to live in this area. We chose this neighborhood because of the convenience and because this was a single family residential area. David Making, the director of Club Soda, was watching during it all. Being afraid of, of us is really ridiculous. You know, we're trying to change our lives. Making a former addict was hopeful the success the stories would outweigh negative opinions. At one time, I was Sarah Spons Monitor for dealing in methamphetamine. Today, I'm program director here at Club Soda. Their current building is old and they're having trouble accommodating everyone. It bothers me a lot when when somebody calls and, and you can hear the desperation in their voice and uh, I have to tell them I have no room. So this attempt didn't work for David Making and his group, but they're not wasting time getting back to the drawing board. When the door closes, the window opens. You know, we're all family. That's what we call each other. We're, we're family. But we always land on our feet. We'll continue to do it. In Terre Haute, I'm Sarah Schaefer, News 10. Club Soda is exploring other ideas for a new building. Since their petition was defeated, they have to wait at least a year if they want to try that 8th Street location again.